Hello friends, today we're going to keep looking at our irregular verbs. Today we're going to focus on the irregular verbs come, run, and hide. So what makes them irregular is that you have to change the spelling to make them past tense. So oftentimes we just add ed to make a word past tense. But in the case of come, run, and hide, we cannot add ed to make it past tense. We must change the spelling. So come will become came. So I say, uh, my friend wants to come over, or I say, my friend came over, which this case means it's already happened. I could run. If I did it in the past, then I ran. I could hide, but if I did it in the past, then I hid. So in all of these verbs, we change the spelling. We do not add ed. So in the sentences below, you are going to decide what the correct spelling is. So all it's asking you to do is circle the correct verb in parentheses to complete each sentence. So do I say we run along a path yesterday or do I say we ran along a path yesterday? We hummed to a fallen tree. We came to a fallen tree. Animals hided near a tree. Animals hid near the tree. A squirrel ran away from us. A squirrel run away from us. A mouse came out of its home. A mouse comes out of its home. A raccoon hid inside the tree. A raccoon hided inside the tree. So you will just circle the one that is correct. And then you'll write a sentence of your own using a past tense verb. So you can use any of these verbs above that are past tense and use one of those words in a sentence. On the other side, we are going to be correcting a letter. Okay, so since we just wrote a letter, we can talk about the correct way to do that. So your direction. All of the words in a letter's greeting begin with a capital letter. So that means this Dear Mark, this is my greeting, capital B and capital M, especially because Mark is a name. Then it says, only the first word in the closing of a letter begins with a capital letter. So that means your friend, since there are two words, it says only the first one needs to be capitalized. So I'm just going to capitalize the Y. Use a comma after the greeting and closing of a friendly letter. So here's my greeting. I'm going to put a comma there after my greeting. Your friend, which is the closing, I put a comma before I write the name. So we have, dear Mark, I like learning about nature. What do you like to learn about? Your friend, Lizzie. So what you're going to do is rewrite this corrective letter down below. Make sure that you put the dear Mark right here. So right here is going to be your greeting. And then make sure you indent. Okay, so you're going to start here with the I, Y, and then continue on. You do not have to draw the boxes. You will just write what belongs in the box. And then for the closing, make sure we write it over here, just like it is in the example. If you need to go down below in this space to make room, that is perfectly fine. Okay, and remember, you are not drawing the boxes. You are just writing the greeting, your mark, and the closing, your friend Lizzie, in those spaces. So make sure you make the corrections and keep the corrections in your rewritten letter. When you're done, double check your work. Make sure your name is on the top and turn it in.